Number three of the five rookie mistakes home buyers make. Number three, going it solo. I really believe now in this market, especially with tight inventory, your ability to buy a home is directly related to the skill of the real estate team you work with. And this isn't an advertisement for Brandon or myself, um, but but really though, I mean, it's it's super important to have a very tight connected relationship with a lender and a real estate agent. And it's really important that the real estate agent and the lender have a very connected relationship because they're gonna be talking very often about your situation, like without you present and not because they're excluding you, but just because they're trying to figure out how to make this all work. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes that Brandon and I handle that we don't really involve the client, but we're just trying to facilitate facilitate the transaction, move it forward, figure out things and try to actually judge things, you know, before potentially they come up and become an issue. So um, uh, the other thing that, you know, and, and this is one of the biggest questions I get asked because, um, you know, I'm the lender, not the realtor in this. And, and it's from first time home buyers and they'll ask how much, how much does the, the realtor charge to help me buy the home? And, and I think that's a really big misconception. So in real estate, when you're buying a home, the seller of the property actually pays the agent commission. So when you're a buyer, you don't have any fees that you have to pay associated with hiring the realtor to represent you to help you find your house. And so, you, you know, I mean, Brandon's the best deal in town from that standpoint, and you can you have the ability to afford the best because um, you, you're, not, you're not paying that fee, the seller's paying that fee. Now, when you turn around and sell your property, that's gonna be negotiated and then sell the property, you're gonna pay those agent commissions. But I think it's good that it works out that way because often, you know, the buyer's buying the property, they're, they're potentially short on funds and then they outside to pay Brandon's fee would be would be a little bit more difficult, but that is something that comes up a lot. Is how do I afford the real estate agent? That that's not that's not the case. And so we'll see buyers calling the listing agents and stuff because they think it's some kind of workaround or whatever. But um, but the real estate agent is going to go out there and find properties for you, um, and knows that area and is going to guide you and educate you and talk to you about construction and issues and, and and kind of hold your hand and almost kind of like be like an instant best friend through that process. And so I think it's really important to lean on that relationship, um, but also know that you don't have to pay for them, which is really cool. Did we just become best friends? Did we just become best friends? That's like stepbrothers, right? Is that stepbrothers? Yep. Yes. Did we just become best friends? I love it. All right.